Hello everybody, Joe Marquez here once again from the Sons of Technology to showcase for you something new that I've been doing in Flipgrid that I have found very beneficial with students. Right now, one of the most important things is to be able to check for understanding uh, with our students from afar. But we also want to be able to check for understanding and still see them because we still want to create this sense of community with one another so we don't want them to be completely blocked off. Let me give you an example. So if I come up here into a Flipgrid short and I record a short really quick, and if I ask my students to showcase something for me, draw something or, or do something for me, of course I would come in here and click on the whiteboard and then they can actually do that. But the problem is if, if they're drawing on the whiteboard and I wanna see them while they're doing it or I want them to be able to be there, you can't because they're completely gone. I can undo the whiteboard and then see them, but sometimes I wanna see them at the same time. So I wanna showcase for you something that I created and it's basically like a whiteboard with a picture in picture of the students. And I have a few different templates that I created for this that you can definitely take a look at. So let me go ahead and show you. So the first one I want to showcase for you is a sketch and tell. Now sketch and tell um, is a routine that you can find in the Edge of Protocols field guide by Marlena Heburn and John Carippo. And traditionally that would be done either in a Google slide like this, or it would be done in a jam board. But sometimes you just want it to be done quick there and to the point. So we, the, a sketch and tell would be a, a student would learn something. It could be in math, it could be in science, it could be in anything, and they want to sketch what they've learned and then tell us about it. So we can do that in Flipgrid with this sketch and tell picture in picture whiteboard. And so it looks just like this, and I actually cut this out right here. And I, I, I was able to cut it out um, by using Pixlr. So basically I create um, this template right here um, just in Google Slides or you can do it in Google Draw and I create a, uh, a box with a color that nothing else on here has a color of. It could be uh, blue, it could be whatever, as long as there's no other color like that. I go into pixlr.com forward slash x, Pixlr x, and I just select the cutout, magic cutout, and then I selected that box right there and it would actually remove it just like that and then I would save it. Pretty simple routine to get this done. Now in Flipgrid, the students would be able to access this template just by clicking on this link right here and it would ask them to download it. So once that uh, picture shows up, they just click download and now they have this file right on their machine. Doesn't matter if it's a Mac, doesn't matter if it's Chromebook, doesn't matter if it's a laptop, it is now on their machine. They would then come in here to the sketch and tell and do their magic. Click on the plus button. And now they're on their recording screen. So what they would do is they would click on this sticker right here. They would add the custom sticker and then they would open it. Now that the sticker is here, I'm gonna create it put it over the entirety of the screen. And because I created it in 16 by nine, it fits perfectly. There we go. And now the students would just adjust their camera to be on camera. And then they would hit record. All right, so Mr. Marquez asked me to sketch um, what I learned about electricity and a light bulb. So I can draw my light bulb right here, and here's the filament, and it needs energy. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have a battery right here. Here's the negative end of the battery. Here's the positive end of the battery. The electrons flow out of the battery through a wire, through the light bulb, and then back in to the negative. And the entirety of the electrons flowing through allows the light bulb to be lit up. That's what I've learned about electricity. So then they'd be done and then they hit next. And so they would have their sketch and tell with their face right here and you would be done. And they just hit next um, and they would put a selfie. I recommend just selecting part of the frame um, for that selfie. I would select it towards where it's actually being drawn. Then they would click next, sketch that right there and boom, they're in. They can put their name, they can put a title for that option, they can put a link to anything they want, and then they would then hit submit, and boom. The students have now submitted a picture-in-picture -picture sketch and tell. So that's one that we created here in Flipgrid. Another one we did was for math. 
And yes, you can do the sketch and tell easily for math, but this is one that we called math quips. So it's spontaneous observations and responses to mathematical problems. So math quips, um, same exact thing. The students would click right here. It would take them to this option right here and they would download the image with that cutout window right to their machine. They would then come into Flipgrid and they would then click on the plus button to begin their math quip. And same as before, once they are in, they would click on the sticker, add it from their machine. Here it is, the math quips they just downloaded and click open. And once again, because we've created this in a 16 by nine format, you just set it up in the corner and this drag to the other corner and it fits beautifully. There we go. And so once again, we have our students' faces right here and we have the whiteboard that they can be utilizing right here. And some, may, some people may be saying to themselves, oh, I just like the whiteboard. It's easy, it's quick, it's there. I absolutely know. And, and there are instances where that whiteboard is quick and easy and ready to go. But in, in like a remote learning situation and you, you just really wanna make that connection with your students, sometimes you just wanna see their face even when they're doing mathematical problems. So this allows us to have that same whiteboard ecosystem, but with a picture in picture of the student's face. I just find it to be an amazing opportunity. And so, once again, let's say that you're a, um, you know, a, a, a second grade teacher and you have a super simple division problem that you're teaching the students. Um, you would go ahead and just hit record. So the problem Mr. Marquez had for me was four divided by two. Another way that we saw Mr. Marquez showcase this is four, and then it's right here divided by two. In either way, what it means is how many times can two go into four? Well, um, we can see that, that two plus two equals four. Therefore, it takes two twos to equal four. So four divided by two equals two. And then they're done and they hit next and they are ready to go. Once again, I highly recommend they select a frame, they hit next and then they would have their math work right there and then hit next and they're all ready to go. So that is our picture in picture whiteboard for math, math quips. Now, um, another one that I, I have, um, and, and we've talked about this uh, in, in grid snaps, and, and that's actually doing kind of like a chapter chat. If you're if you're if you're in an English class and you're you're reading a book like The Outsiders and, and you want to kind of do a chapter check. Um, at each one, you can have the students kind of describe the chapter. And I would always recommend having the students uh, being able to um, collect artifacts along the way because um, it, it allows them to start understanding, oh, I need to actually do things um, as we are going through this. So the same thing, I have the chapter chat right here and the students will just click right there and they would just select download to their machine so they can use that fact. And, and if you're doing this consistently, then we have to download it once. They can just re-uploading the same picture every single time. And once again, once they're in, they would click on the sticker. They would add the sticker that they had just downloaded to their machine, which is going to be the chapter chat. And they're going to go ahead and bring that on in and drag the other one all the way to the bottom. We have our nice picture in picture. Now, for a chapter chat, I highly recommend that you as the instructor encourage the students to grab artifacts along the way. Um, grab uh, parts of the chapter that, uh, part, yeah, parts of the chapter, paragraphs of the chapter that resonate with them and to take screenshots if you have a PDF of that book or if they're reading the book physically, they can take pictures of that chapter um, a la Tara Martin's book snaps um, using Snapchat and just take a picture right there and, 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 and save it. You're collecting these artifacts to be ready for this chapter chat. So let me give you an example. So let's say that our students are talking about the outsiders. Before they start recording, they're gonna set up their scene. They're gonna set up their scene and so they're gonna click on more stickers. And yes, we have a sticker already, but we're gonna start putting stickers upon stickers. Um, so the book that we were reading was The Outsiders. So I had the students go and grab Outsiders Artifacts. So they have the title right there. Bring that right down there to the bottom. Um, maybe they want to bring in their uh, the uh, cover of the book that they're reading. Um, so right here is the cover of the book right there. Make that a little bit smaller. 
and drag that there. And then finally, they would bring in the paragraphs that they had already gone through and collected because they're ready to do their chapter chat. That's part of the assignment. Collect the paragraphs that uh, allow you to make meaning of the chapter. And so the same thing, you would um, take a picture of that paragraph or if it was on a PDF on the screen, they would take a screen grab of that and they would just come in and grab it. And all of this would be done ahead of time, which uh, you know allows for critically thinking of what paragraphs I should be doing. Uh, they start have to think about how are they gonna communicate, why they brought that paragraph in. So that paragraph is now right there. And this is how they would start, right? So they would come in, they would make sure they click on their drawing tool and they would go hit record. They say, hi, everybody. So I just finished chapter one of The Outsiders. The book by S.E. Hinton is what we're reading in class. And so this is, the this is the paragraph of the chapter that I thought was really important because they talked about all, a couple of the different characters and, and they were talking about the oldest brother, Soda. I did not resonate with Soda very much because he was older. I'm a younger uh, part of my family. So the person I did resonate with is Ponyboy. They're gonna pause, and at this point, they, they hopefully had grabbed some screen grabs of Pony Boy, and they come down here, and here's Pony Boy right here. Bring him in, there he is, and then hit record. Pony Boy right here is somebody that I really resonated with because he was the smaller person of the group, kind of like me. I really wish Pony Boy was here to talk. And so, you know, then you can do the grid mask thing and actually bring a mask in if you wanted to. Um, I'll show you quickly what that looks like. If you don't, if you don't need to see what the mask looks like, you can go ahead and fast forward this for a second. But I, I basically created these masks of Pony Boy in the same way that I created the grabs. And we bring Pony Boy right there. I'm gonna bring my face in a little bit. And there we go. What do you mean? I'm Pony Boy and I'm right here. I agree, I was a smaller member of the Outsider team, but I was a positive member of the Outsider team. Thank you so much for including me in your chapter chat. So we can definitely do all these things right here. And um, if you want to remove him at this point, I don't hit clear because you're gonna remove all of the annotations and all the stickers, just hit backwards and it will remove the last thing you put up. So this is a way that you can really integrate the whiteboarding and the picture in picture and, and use this for a chapter chat. And the same thing, once they're done, they click next. They would see their thing and, and they would definitely, for the select a frame, once again, they could be themselves or they can definitely pick a frame right here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. That's what I want right there, maybe a little bit more right there for the outsiders. Hit next. And now we are done. So I, I just wanted to show this for you because you know I love Flipgrid, I love the whiteboard, but I love seeing my students' faces as well. And, and if your students are ready to go and raring to go and getting up there, this is a great way to include that whiteboard aspect, but with like a picture in picture of the student's face there as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please share it with your fellow friends. If you like the videos you see in our YouTube channel, please definitely follow us on the YouTube channel and share this channel with your friends as well. And if you would like to connect with myself, my name is Joe Marquez. You could find me on the Twitters at Joe Marquez 70. And if you uh, like everything that the Sons of Technology are putting out, please follow Sons of Technology on Twitter as well at Sons of Tech EDU. Thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for being an amazing educator for our students.